Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm cytotechnologist working at a specialized thyroid hospital. I'd like to introduce how to observe thyroid FNA specimens. In today's lesson, I'll talk about cell shape and cytoplasm. Let's get started. Thyroid tumors composed of tall columnar cells tend to show aggressive behavior. Therefore, it's important to cytologically recognize tall cells. Cytologically, we can identify tall cells as palisade derangement and tail-like elongated cytoplasm. When you observe these two findings in PTC case, you'd better to mention the possibility of tall cell variant in the report. This is columnar cell variant of PTC. In this variant, identification of tall columnar cells is not so difficult. Here, we can see palisade columnar cells. The nuclei are hyperchromatic and elongated. These findings are similar to colorectal carcinoma. This is metastatic colorectal carcinoma. It is impossible to distinguish cytologically between columnar cell variant of PTC and metastatic colorectal carcinoma. In such an occasion, it is important to check the past history. Cribriform morular thyroid carcinoma is also composed of tall columnar cells. When you see tall columnar cells in young women, at first, you should consider this variant. Next, I'd like to talk about cytoplasm. These are oncocytic lesions. Oncocytic follicular neoplasm shows binucleation and no lymphocytes. In Hashimoto's thyroiditis, oncocytes shows various sized hyperchromatic nuclei and lymphocytes are present within the cluster of oncocytes. Intranuclear cytoplasmic inclusions indicate PTC. Granular cytoplasm is seen in oncocytic follicular neoplasm and medullary thyroid carcinoma. The nucleoli of oncocytic follicular neoplasm are more prominent. The salt and pepper chromatin pattern is characteristic of medullary thyroid carcinoma. To distinguish them, GIMSA stain or immunostaining are useful. Medullary thyroid carcinoma cells show metachromasia and positivity for calcitonin immunostaining. These are septate intracytoplasmic vacuoles. Small, uniform, and well-defined vacuoles cytoplasmic separated by dense cytoplasm. These are characteristic of PTC, particularly in cystic PTC. Here, we can see small droplets with halo in the cytoplasm. They are called yellow bodies. The name is from the color in he stain. These are diagnostic clue of hyalinizing trabecular tumor. Brown tiny granules are seen in the clear cytoplasmic vacuoles. The granules are called paravacular granules and a hallmark of non-neoplastic lesions, such as normal follicular cells and follicular nodular disease. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Next lesson topic is nuclei. See you next lesson.